supplying over 8 billion litres of water to more than 40,000 customers each year. Midcoast Water plays a vital role in sustaining and developing communities throughout the New South Wales Mid-North Coast, as well as providing reliable, high-quality water to residents and businesses. One of Midcoast Water's primary responsibilities is to ensure our precious water supplies are secured for future generations. This is particularly important when faced with issues such as population growth and climate uncertainty. As a result, Midcoast Water has a clear vision for the future supply of water in our region. Part of this vision is the $34 million Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer Water Supply System Project. Situated 6 kilometres southeast of Nabiak and 4 kilometres northwest of Tuncurry, the Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer contains up to 200,000 million litres of stored water. Currently, water is pumped from the Manning River, treated at the Butawar Water Treatment Plant and piped over 40 kilometres to the Great Lakes region. The development of the Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer will enable Midcoast Water to access up to 10 million litres of water each day, taking pressure off the Manning River and its aquatic ecosystem. So, why has this site been chosen? The development of the Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer has been on Midcoast Water's horizon since the late 1990s. Groundwater investigations and monitoring bores confirmed sand mining data from the 1970s, showing a significant volume of water in the Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer. Sophisticated groundwater modelling software was used to test the potential impact of groundwater extraction on natural groundwater levels and surrounding wetland areas. After thorough investigation, including numerous environmental and water flow studies, Midcoast Water purchased a 44-kilometre tract of land on the Tuncurry side of the Wollamba River to allow for the future construction of a water treatment plant. Additionally, a landmark agreement was struck with the Foster Local Aboriginal Land Council in 2015, when Midcoast Water purchased 1,600 hectares of their land as part of the project. An important element of the agreement was Midcoast Water's decision to bestow a perpetual right of cultural access to members of the Land Council. So, how will the system work? The Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer Project will involve the construction of 14 vertical groundwater extraction bores, associated pump stations and a state-of-the-art microfiltration water treatment plant, as well as delivery pipelines and storage tanks. The extraction bores will be drilled 20 metres into the sandy ground. As these are drilled, stainless steel casings are added to form a sealed pipe. Once completed, each bore is fitted with a submersible electric pump at the lowest point. These pumps use rotating impellers to draw water from the surrounding sand. During this process, water from a dish-shaped region around each bore is gradually drawn down from the pumping zone surrounding each bore. The pump then pushes this water up through the casing to the surface for collection, treatment and storage. The aquifer area itself is naturally replenished from the surface down thanks to rainfall from consistent weather events which effectively tops up the system's capacity. After the underground water has been extracted, it will be treated at the filtration plant and then piped under the Wollamba River to the Darawank balance tank located on the lake's way. The water will then be injected into the 600mm diameter trunk main between the Lantana Reservoir near Taree and the Foster, Rainbow Flat and Tallwood Drive reservoirs. In an emergency, the water can also be pumped to the Karinkat Reservoir to supply those areas still receiving water from the Manning River Scheme, including Taree, Wingham, Old Bar and Harrington. Importantly, the system has the capacity to increase the supply of water to 24 million litres per day to accommodate the demands of population growth in the region. The Nabiak Inland Dune Aquifer Water Supply System, a crucial part of Midcoast Water's commitment to providing a reliable and sustainable water supply to the people of the New South Wales Mid-North Coast.